I've often wondered what would happen if I hit one of these. Road engineers call them ramped ends. It's the traditional way of dealing with the end of a crash barrier, ramping the barrier down into the ground and finishing off the end with a sloping lump of concrete. They've been used since the 1970s. But I've always suspected these ramped ends could act as launch pads, catapulting your car into the other carriageway or anything in its path, in a sort of imitation of a Hollywood blockbuster stunt. And with 33,000 crash barrier terminals on dual carriageways and motorways, including ramped barriers at most motorway junctions, that's a lot of spectacular accidents waiting to happen. But are the consequences of, say, misjudging a motorway exit and accidentally hitting one of these barriers as horrific as you might imagine? Well, we've joined highway engineers Mott McDonald and Balfour Beatty, who are going to do an experiment to find out. We've got a reconstruction of a typical motorway junction complete with a signpost. There are two crash barriers which meet at a point. The idea is they stop you hitting the signpost if something goes wrong. And we've got one of our famous remote control cars that will drive towards the barrier at 70 miles an hour to simulate what could happen should your attention wander while exiting the junction. Will the ramped ends cushion the blow, gently lifting the car, or will the result be much, much more Hollywood? The remote control team got into position to perform the test. They didn't hit the ramped end, they hit the side of the barrier. But it was reassuring to see how it repelled the 70 mile an hour car with ease. The superficial damage was repaired and the car lined up for a second attempt. A direct hit, and it was as spectacular as my worst fears. Hmm, so it looks like the cars hit the concrete and then the barrier, but rather than protecting you against the sign, what the barrier's done is actually just flip the car straight up into the sign. And on hitting the ground, the car's thrown over violently, making this a particularly unpleasant way to crash. The consequences would be even worse with a bridge parapet rather than a sign behind the barrier. According to a survey in Warwickshire, every motorway junction with ramped ends can expect an injury or death from a crash like this every five years or so. Add that up round the road network and you get hundreds of deaths or injuries a year. But because the locations are all spread out, they don't get classed as accident black spots and it's hard to justify changing the barrier design. Thankfully, new barriers currently being installed are safer. This may look severe, but you can hit it at 70 miles an hour with a much reduced chance of injury and without the car flying into the air. Where the barrier has to protect a broader object like a toll booth, these crash cushions are now being used. The highways agency are also improving the design of structures the crash barrier is there to protect. Energy-absorbing posts, like the ones we've already featured on Fifth Gear, are much less damaging to hit. With friendly road furniture like this, you don't need the barrier in the first place. I'd certainly rather drive into one of these than fly into this.